Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you all how to work on attribute tables after digitization. So let's start. First of all, I have taken a scan map uh, where I have choose a Nagaland map where I have downloaded from internet. After that, I have uh, drawn the boundary of the Nagaland state with uh, by taking one polygon feature. After that, I will draw the districts of Nagaland by using cut polygon. Uh, since I have shown you how to draw polygons uh, with the help of starting uh, start editing after that we used to draw the features but in today's video i will show you how to do cut polygon but at first you have to draw the boundary of an area or anywhere else but we have to at first you have to draw the boundary so i have drawn the boundary here this is the boundary of nagaland state and now I will start editing or start using the cut polygon tool. At first, go to editor and start editing. Click on create feature. So, just watch carefully here. There's a tool here. It's cut polygon tool. Click it here. So, you have got one message that there is no selection because I have not selected the area. Now I have selected the area and make the color as no hollow okay now again click the cut polygon tool now let's start so i will start from here this is a district of parent parent district so we can see then the white colored area is a district of parent and i will start from here Make sure that you start quite from the edge of the boundary. I'm just drawing in a rough way but you all please draw carefully and make sure that the boundary should be in a smooth way so it's end up here just double check it so that's it it's very easy right so I have drawn the district here of parent district So let's continue in this way but make sure that you select the boundaries if you won't select you can draw you can use the cut polygon tool so make sure that you select the boundary So I have completed all the districts out here. See one more thing you have to you all have to keep in mind that uh, to do to work on cut polygon at first you have to keep in mind that uh, you have to select the boundary in which boundary uh, from which boundary you have to you have to cut cut the polygon. After that you have to work on that polygon or draw the polygon or start the polygon here. And make sure that you start the 
or start or draw the polygon from the edge of the boundary and end up in the edge of the boundary so I have completed the boundary here you can see it is this is the state of Nagaland and the districts out here so now I told you in the previous video that I will uh, show you how to work on attribute table so see right click in the boundary layer then one option is here open attribute table click on here and one table used to appear that I have drawn or used the cut polygon tool see these are all and now I am thinking about to show the names of the districts out here how I will show it so for that I have to click on make sure the editor tool is off so now go to click on here in this option then one option is here add field click on here so now you have to give a name what you, you want to show so in the name section I will give as or write down as districts as I will show the districts out here districts and type will be as text so there are many options here short integer long integer or short long float double these are all where you want to show some figures or numbers out here so if you want to write down some names or something else then you have to click on text here now click on ok one more co column used to appear as districts as I have made here just now so you want you have to write down the names out here or the districts present here how you will do again go to editor start editing now you can write down the districts here so I can remember uh, the names of districts are in Nagaland so what I will do I will click here see one blue uh, the blue line used to appear where I have selected again I will double click it that means I I'm zooming it the now I can see the name it's Zunhi Boto the district name so now I will write down here again in the next it's parent I will continue the same process as I have did as I did as the mapo so in this way you all can make as much as food you want to make as much uh, you want to write down some uh, other necessary things here or edit so for now I will just show you how to show the districts out here So I have finished um, by adding the districts here. So next, I have to save it 
again go to editor save edits and stop editing okay this process is completed now I will close it next I have to go to properties to make visible the levels I have made or the districts district name I have made so again I will show you go to right, right, right click here in the boundary layer after that go to properties one option is there here it's called labels so click on here text string label fill so I have made one fill or column as districts where I want to show the names so I have to click here after that or you can sh change the uh, symbols out here the text symbols you can any give the names out here like Arial Unicode or something else and change the size I will give out as 10 or change the colors out here you can do anything or you can make it as bold I will give it as bold okay now apply it let's see how it look like so this is my map after that um, we want to show the, the districts out here in different colors what I will do again go to properties then uh, click on symbology then categories again the value will be districts then add all values see the name of the districts are here and in different colors if you want to apply it in this way then it's okay uh, click on apply see it came out or you want to apply in according to your color it's like no I don't want to give this color I will give it as a different color so it's okay we can apply it here by double clicking it again in full color like this we can change it each and every districts out here then apply it or we can change out here apply if you want to lay out this map we can lay out it and give the legend here uh, or show the district names in the legend we can also show in that way let me show you click on layout view keep all the districts here grids here so I have shown the next I will add this is the map so if you want to export this map you all can export it by going to file export map option 
give it any in in any format pdf tiff jpeg so today i have shown you all at first how to use the cut polygon tool after that uh, how to work on attribute table by adding fields we can add text also or numbers by using uh, by using small integer long integer if the numbers uh, number uh, numerical values is, value is short then use it as small integer or the numerical value is long then use as long integer or if it has point values then give it as double so in many uh, different purposes we can use that fill option to show some uh, uh, text values or numerical values as like today i have shown you in a text value by showing you the districts of a state the state is Nagaland. After that, I have shown you all how to work on symbology by showing different colors in different areas or districts in this way. So that's all. One more thing, if you want to edit or give the name as in a different way, then you can edit it in here also by adding it here and apply it. Okay. After you, if you want to remove a value, then you can remove a value from here like remove it so there are many things you can learn slowly so that's all for now and in the next video I, I want to show you all how to work or how to show pie charts or bar bar charts especially for estimating map, uh, mapping purposes so lastly again I want to remind you all if you have liked my video then hit the thumbs up and please subscribe my channel and also share to your friends, relatives, family, to anyone you like. Till then take care. Bye bye. See you all in my next video.